Oi, Kipsters, it's Mr. Zakari back with another banger. And today, we're in the city of Boston. Today, we're gonna be trying to find different organisms that perform cellular respiration. In the last video, we learned that only plants, aka producers, perform photosynthesis. Now today, we're going to be learning about a different chemical reaction called cellular respiration. Cellular respiration is a process where organisms take in glucose and oxygen and turn it into carbon dioxide, water, and energy. Boy, Kipsters, we got an organism right there. Do you think that organism performs cellular respiration? What about this cool guy? Do you think he performs cellular respiration? Or what about these organisms? Do you think these organisms perform cellular respiration? Or what about these organisms? Do you think these organisms perform cellular respiration? These organisms are really cheeky. The answer to all of those is yes. Producers, consumers, and decomposers all perform cellular respiration. What about these organisms? Do these organisms perform cellular respiration? The answer is no. Dead matter does not perform cellular respiration because dead matter does not have any ESM. What about this rock? Does this rock perform cellular respiration? No, it's a rock. Last time, we learned that during photosynthesis, carbon travels from out of the air and into the plant. During cellular respiration, the opposite happens. Carbon is now traveling out of the organism and into the air. So if it is a bright and sunny day, carbon is traveling into the air and out of the air at the same time. However, if it is the middle of the night, then carbon is only traveling in to the air. Why is that? That's because photosynthesis requires energy. Remember, energy from sunlight, carbon dioxide in our air, and then water. So without any sunlight, there's no photosynthesis. With no photosynthesis, there's no carbon dioxide going into the plant. So if it was the middle of the night, there's no carbon dioxide going out of the air and into the plant. There's only carbon dioxide going out of the plant and into the air because organisms don't need sunlight to perform cellular respiration. They only need glucose and oxygen. So that means that you can do cellular respiration during the night. All you need is glucose and oxygen. All right, bye Kipsters. It's been good. Gotta go to my uh, car right now, but I'll catch you guys later. Peace.